Hello, welcome back to my studio. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> um, we are back in Poland. Miss failing so much. The weather is absolutely awful. The day we arrived, it started snowing. So yeah, but I just got a huge package with a lot of new art supplies, and I thought I would share with you what I. Uh, what I've ordered, I'm super excited, it all looks really really great and I'm super... <laughs> I can't talk! Yeah, let me show you what I've got here. Okay, so first of all, I couldn't resist and I really wanted to try a new sketchbook. <laughs> I'm halfway for this one, but I feel I really need to try something different, especially that I don't know. I I, I don't know. I just wanted I just wanted something new. And this was quite cheap and affordable. It's uh, Talents Art Creation. It has 140 grams, so it's it's not thick, but I've seen people using it for mixed media, so... If it won't work for like the amount of paint I'm using and the amount of water, I would just use it for uh, sketches and pencils and new colors. Um, the paper is like off-white. It's pretty yellowish, I would say, even. Yeah, quite excited to try it out and because I did quite a big order, <laughs> I got uh, the another one uh, as a gift free and oh my god, this paper is nice. I'm really excited to try it out. It's thick, it's for mixed media as well, it's 250 grams and it's meant for pencil watercolors and acrylics and actually like it doesn't it has a little bit of texture but not a lot and it feels really like thick and because of this texture and its thickness i hope it would work a bit similar to the paper that it's in the nerdforge sketchbook but this one is only 180 grams and this one is 250 so i just hope it won't warp as much and wrinkle as much as the one here and like it's a tear off which i don't really like that much but i was thinking that if i try it and i like it i maybe will just assemble it into a like a proper sketchbook and i've seen they also have like a4 and a3 sizes so i'm really putting a lot of hope into this paper because i don't know it just feels really nice and it's thick and it's really affordable because like it's not a sketchbook but I will try that later and now into the art supplies <laughs> I also bought some washi tapes because I didn't have any and I would like to try and when I paint actually put some washi tapes around so I have a nice edge from time to time maybe not always but sometimes I, I really like that <laughs> so here it is I've got one new neo color. I really wanted a really bright purple one, but it was out of stock, so I I ordered this like middle shade. It is a little bit brighter than my other ones, so and a little bit more going into blue shades. I really wanted a very bright like lilac one or like they, they were out of stock so maybe next time but this one is also pretty nice. Oh I think I can swatch it here. Oh they are not all of them but well yeah. Well yeah I did, the color is not exactly what I wanted but I didn't have 
this one as well, so I'm sure I'm gonna use it. So the new thing that I really wanted to try are these uh, brush pens from Ecoline. Um, they are uh, water-based, so uh, they can act, I don't know, tiny little bit like watercolors. <laughs> Not sure. Let's, let's just... I don't need these scissors here. Okay, let's just swatch them and see. Because I've never used... Something like this. Oh, that's nice. Can you see the colors? Oh my god. I'm gonna try and... Okay, so with water the pigment basically disappears. This, this is a very bright one. But yeah. It's nice can be layered oh I, I was worried that these colors will be too bright and I really wanted something very pastel and soft and like really light and oh my god this this really works nice I uh, I actually had like water markers uh, in the past but they were really really saturated and even if they, they were, even though the colors should have been like pretty uh, soft and light and pastels they were they were just too saturated and it was hard to work with them because they were just giving too much pigment these ones are actually a lot better <laughs> Let's see how they blend. Okay, so yeah, this is obviously not the paper for 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 layering them because the paper just goes off. So that's nice. This one a little bit darker, but yeah. Okay, you know what, I have a watercolor paper here, so I'm gonna try and see if they, if they blend together. Okay. Or maybe I will put a little bit water first. And then, okay, this way, this, no, this is whipped, this is super whipped. Okay, so the, it, it is actually worse with this paper. <laughs> but I've, I've music, I'm using this sketchbook for swatches because I don't like the paper, so let's not judge yet. <laughs> okay, I think this, one, this one's left. The color palette is amazing. I really love all the shades and they are perfect for my style and the colors I use so I'm always really afraid about choosing the colors on the internet but these ones are really great it's pastel okay so I basically bought all the pastels <laughs> okay so so far on their own they are really nice and I like the colors and like for putting a base layer that's that's great but I'm not sure if they are supposed to blend or not or <laughs> whatever because they don't work on this paper I mean okay it's not that bad on on the on the other one it was really tearing off the page so like leaving all the tiny pieces of paper yeah i'm really excited to try them out on on an illustration because colors look great 
We'll see. Okay. Other than these brush pens, I ordered new gouaches. <laughs> oh my god. I ordered new gouaches and these are Holbein Artistic Gouache. Art uh, sorry, Holbein Artist Gouache. And let me tell you, they are really expensive. But these are professional uh, gouaches uh, with a re really great uh, like light vest. Uh, so they can be used for uh, art that's gonna be put on the wall or something. <laughs> and yes, I've been using jelly gouaches a lot for the last two months and I just wanted to like compare them now with the really professional brand because I thought that when I was painting both of these uh, scenes, I noticed that they are pretty hard to use. The jelly gouaches are pretty hard to use uh, if I don't mix them with water, like straight for the tube. They are really thick and just don't want to like go smoothly on the paper and uh, put this layer of paint. And I was pretty sure this is because I've already have them for about two months and they are a little bit dried out. But when I was going around YouTube and I found some comparison of different uh, gouache uh, brands, uh, the person reviewing the gouaches were saying the exact same thing with the brand new ones. So, okay, this one, this one had pretty great review. So. I just decided I'm gonna try them out. I have only have seven colors because they are really expensive and I thought the tubes would be smaller but they are actually a little bit bigger than I expected. Uh, which, which is... they are still very small but <laughs> yeah, let's see the colors. And I'm really excited to like try and paint with them. I also have some new brushes, so I'm gonna use them for that. Uh, most of my brushes were round and I've also seen on a lot of tutorials that you can paint nice leaves and vegetation and some details easier with the, I don't know, the square one. <laughs> so I, I bought four of uh, four different sizes and uh, they are from uh, Renaissance. I have most of my paint brushes from this company and I'm really happy with them. They are cheap and affordable and uh, synthetic so no animals and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this the same. <laughs> so let's see the colors. Oh no 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 no. Oh my, they are so, oh, they are so creamy. Okay, they, they definitely have different consisten uh, consistency. Uh, no, they are definitely a lot different than jelly gouache. Oh my, it's so nice. I love the color. So that was brilliant pink. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that much difference already. They are really saturated and really opaque, like really opaque. I'm gonna try put a little bit of this pink on and maybe I should wait till it's dry. I can't. Okay, so now they are... Oh, this is a nice shade. I don't know, this is, this is like... They dry quite fast and they have a nice... Oh my god, I'm all... How can this happen? I've only opened a tube and put a tip of a brush into the tube and... How am I all dirty in paint? Oh my god... So I'm definitely missing 
some of the colors like I would really like to have this I would really like to have also this like pastel pink and maybe kind of a pastel red it's not a big of a problem because I can mix them and create these colors but oh my god I absolutely love these gouaches uh, when I was buying jelly gouaches I was considering buying these ones or jelly gouaches and jelly gouaches were so much cheaper for free of these I had entire set so I went for the jelly gouache but now I think I regret that I have one more color and that's it oh this is a really nice deep green oh it's actually called green deep okay now the pink is all dry so I think I'm gonna put the white on the pink and see. I'm honestly not sure why am I so surprised. I've already was using Holbein gouaches, the acrylic ones, and they were also really great. But I don't know, I just thought since they were acrylics, they act a little bit different or something. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so I feel like this... Maybe I should have picked a different blue and this green, but on the other hand, they can be mixed easily with either purple or white or green if I need something more. I think I'm really missing yellow here, but guys, I only had a budget for those seven. I wasn't sure if they would be worth it, but now I think I will be buying more of them. Okay, uh, in the comparison, here are the jelly gouaches. I'm not sure you can see it, but these were not as opaque and maybe like this is only one green. Um, and they, they were creating more like... I don't know, I sometimes had some problems with putting light in the foreground and stuff like this. Sorry, I'm all in paint, but whatever. Um, but maybe it was a fault of, of the paint, not mine. <laughs> okay, I have one more thing to show you. Okay, so as I really liked uh, working with Neo colors recently and I've actually did like this quick really really quick drawing with just new colors and didn't use anything else and i quite enjoyed it so so i thought i would really like to try oil pastels <laughs> last time i painted or draw with oil pastels were in junior high or something like this and they were these really cheap market pastels I still like it back then, but just never actually considered in it like an artist quality art supply. I have two of this green. I'm not sure if I ordered two of them or just get one by mistake. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna try and swatch them and... Oh! Oh my god! This is so, so so soft. They are Van Gogh oil pastels. The shop I was ordering from only have these ones for to buy individually and I didn't want any set because what I've learned so far with sets that I got a lot of colors that I'm not using so this is just pointless, you know. This is nice. They leave a lot of these tiny little pieces of pastel behind. Not sure if this is a normal thing or not. Like I said, I've never used any quality pastels before. Not sure if this is any quality, but they were quite cheap. Okay, this purple is not mm, that saturated. I was expecting a little bit more. Let's maybe compare it to new core. So yeah, this 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 is making a solid color, and this one is a little bit 
transparent. I really wanted to try Neo Pastels because Caran Dash never disappoints me, but they were only selling them in sets and <laughs> the set was really expensive, so maybe I will look in another shop. Yeah. Okay, so if anyone of you is using oil pastels, let me know if this is normal, that this is not creating a very solid color. I will also look for myself for some tutorials. The colors are actually, are actually really nice. And maybe it can be blend with white, yeah. Okay. It, it looks really nice blended with white. I think I'm gonna try and uh, and see how they blend. This green. This is a nice vivid green. <laughs> and this pastel, it's turquoise blue. So let's see. Okay. It's 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 actually really. When they are two layers, they they actually create nice solid color. I was really oh my god, where this dark one came from? Okay, I was really wondering if they would be any different than Neo colors, but oh my god, they are. Okay, I don't know. I I got a little bit of red here, so it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay. Um, in conclusion, I'm really happy about the Neo washes. Think they are worth the price. Oh my god, I mean, I, I thought I would try some of them, like some of the art supplies with you here in the video, but this video is already so, so long, so... Like, I've already recorded almost an hour and I'm not sure, I, obviously I would cut some of it, but I don't think I can fit a painting inside the video. So, I'm gonna try them in the next one. But... Yes, the oil pastels, I need to learn how to use them because it's not as easy as it seems. I just, I thought they would just be as new colors, but uh -uh. these guys are different. They come from a different family, definitely. Um, so yeah, this is basically everything I got. I've also ordered another sketchbook. I've ordered a Strathmore, Strathmore Mix Media sketchbook and three other oil pastels from a different brand because the shop that where I was buying the Strathmore sketchbook had another brand of oil pastels so I thought why not? And then still waiting on it so when it arrives maybe I will or maybe I will not. Not sure what this video is about and if you're gonna like it or not. It's just my first impressions of using all of these art supplies um, or swatching all of these art supplies, okay? So stick with me in the next videos. We're gonna try them out for real on a real paper. I mean, this was a real paper, but you know what I mean. Um, on a real painting, okay? And hope I've inspired you to spend some money and maybe buy your own new art supplies. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm getting really close to a thousand subscri subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you would, uh, if you like my videos, that you would subscribe and help me reach this goal. And yes, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye!